Hey, good Sunday morning, everybody. Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. Hope you're having a great start to your Sunday. We're going to have a couple of active days of weather. Today, maybe a pop-up shower storm, but really Monday is starting to look like more of a day that we're going to see some significant severe weather in the region. So let's get right to it. I'll show you the overall view. The thing we're watching for today, you can clearly see everything's kind of laid out on the map for us. We've got a big cluster of storms back here over Missouri and Arkansas, but immediately we're keeping an eye on these into eastern Tennessee, um, eastern Kentucky, moving into West Virginia and Virginia. These are likely going to help produce scattered showers and storms later this afternoon because one thing's for sure if you haven't been outside today yet it is steamy hot humid air is pumping into the region from the southeast we're seeing some of the warmest most humid air that we've seen in the last couple of weeks it's been pretty mild actually uh, compared to what we just uh, went through uh, for most of July but we're starting to see some really big heat and humidity build here so the fuel is there you see the dew points are quickly threw them up there in the 70s so the air is super juicy hot humid air is fuel for storms all you need is a trigger to get them going and we've got several of those to the west with these cold fronts low pressure systems and mid-level disturbances that'll be moving in let me quickly start with the severe weather outlook for today we'll show you that severe weather outlook you could see part of our area in the low risk right now I'm going to turn off the satellite image low risk but the medium risk back to the west so we're not expecting widespread severe today but certainly we're going to see things crank up tomorrow as you see that risk now kind of ramped up to the medium and higher risk so this is going to be pretty significant i expect some kind of big line of storms to be heading our way tomorrow on um, the tornado probabilities tomorrow only two percent that's pretty low overall it's really about the wind that's the wind probability so you know you're looking at 5 15 30 percent chance of damaging straight line winds in our area so this is going to be you know one of those days we're going to have to watch very carefully for uh, not not necessarily to ratio but a thunderstorm complex that could have a big boeing echo uh, boeing segment with it that could produce damaging straight line wind so let's get right to the future cast and kind of break down the timing so you can plan for tomorrow and here we go let's start with today so sunday really hot humid beautiful weather for the first part of the day but as we go into the afternoon we'll watch these storms starting to move out of the mountains um, these could go severe pretty quickly especially because the timing is going to work out for the maximum heating of the day um, what you have here is this disturbance coming in we've got warm humid air coming in from the south that's going to set the stage and so with plenty of heating and again look at the time this is two o'clock so plenty of time to get hot out there you're going to see some scattered and i will say scattered strong storms develop this afternoon but because they're kind of running ahead of the main energy back to the west and the southwest they probably will run out a little bit of steam and energy these will be totally driven by the heating of the day so you can see it through six o'clock so if you have plans today the later we get in the afternoon and evening you're probably going to run into at least scattered thunderstorms but for the most part probably marginally severe storms we go into tonight you see the bigger clusters down to the south so that's why you know today's kind of a calmer day but let's go into tomorrow we'll go into the overnight hours we'll reload everything starting in early in the morning here um it's 8 a.m tomorrow morning notice we're all clear here but the atmosphere is reloading what i mean by that is hot humid air is pumping back into the region and we're going to watch back here for a larger disturbance in the mid levels the jet stream just to the north is kicking these down to the southeast and so as we go into the afternoon i'll stop this at one o'clock you can see boy they're still back to the west but even more sunshine and heat and humidity ahead of it allows for these storms to really build the timing tomorrow is more towards peak heating remember this time your sun sets closer to 8 30. so peak heating is really closer to like five o'clock four or five o'clock as opposed to two three o'clock um so we get towards four here's five o'clock peak heating look at these things coming out of the mountains that is a nasty line of storms starts pushing in by six o'clock so tomorrow monday five six seven o'clock nasty line eight o'clock nine o'clock look at that thing moving across all the way into the overnight hours so this has straight line winds written it all, all over it when you see something like that you know we kind of refer to this as a squiggly squall line sometimes when you see the areas like that there'll be big surges of strong wind in there and again in these setups sometimes you can see quick little spin-ups in these nooks and crannies of the line so that's something to keep an eye on but tomorrow tomorrow for sure looks like a pretty pretty big severe weather risk for our area day i would definitely start thinking about saying we need to stay weather aware 
on Monday. Now, things could change because subtle shifts in the, the track of this disturbance, morning clouds, lack of uh, fuel for these storms, which could happen because the storms from today could leave, leave some low clouds, which would keep the sun at bay for a while. And just a couple hours of that could be a big deal. So pay attention, stay up to date and stay weather aware because potentially tomorrow we could have some significantly strong thunderstorms and damaging straight line winds are primary concern. 30% chance we could see severe winds with the storms that develop on Monday. I'll have updates today. I'll do another vlog tonight and we'll get you ready for Monday's severe weather risk.